Dios. Well, it's hard to come up with an opening statement after something like that. Um, I'm just so incredibly proud of our team. What a great night for Army football. What a great night for West Point. Um, I, I think tonight just was uh, an embodiment of what this entire season has, has been for this team. The determination, the effort, the toughness, the discipline, the brotherhood, the love for each other, the grittiness that these guys have displayed from day one, from game one. The, that's what showed up tonight. And we beat a really good football team. Congratulations to Tulane to, for, for being here and being a part of this game. We're honored to, to be in this game and to host the American Championship. Um, and really an honor for us. I'm, I'm proud of our team. Probably these three guys sitting up here with me, but I'm proud of everybody in that locker room. And not just for the plays they made tonight, but for what they've done to get us positioned to be able to do what we did tonight. And uh, you know, it's, it's a really good football team. And I think oftentimes we're, we're considered a team that you know just has a bunch of little old guys and not very talented, and the fact is, we got some talented guys. Are we as talented or more talented than other teams that we play? Maybe not, probably not, but that doesn't matter. It, you just have to have the best team on a particular day in order to win. And they have a very talented team, very well coached team, uh, but I'm just proud of our guys about the way they played tonight. They played together and uh, just played like the best team. And uh, so I think we got a really good football team and it's, it's been fun to be a part of this team with them all season long. I'm, I've coached a lot of seasons, I've coached a lot of games and a lot of teams and there's very few times in my career where I would say I'm, I'm as proud of the team I was a part of as I, as I am of this one tonight. So uh, it's great to to be here and be champions and and uh, to be able to celebrate, celebrate that with these guys. Our senior class, what they've meant to this program, what they've meant to this team, uh, there was just a raw determination in their spirit to, to, to get this program back to uh, a championship level and certainly to be able to call ourselves champions tonight is, is pretty fantastic. So I'm proud of these guys and, and, uh, and we're, we're enjoying the victory here for a little bit before we get ready for the biggest game of the year next week. All right, we'll open up for questions. Did you raise your hand? I'll start right there. Thank you. Coach, um, you guys went for it on fourth and five uh, instead of going for the field goal. I took it as a sign of confidence that you thought um, that even if you didn't get it, you, the team would be back in there. I think it was fourth and three. I think we could get the first down there. Or no, maybe it was on a three yard line. I can't remember. I knew I knew the number fourth and one. The number was three. Fourth and three from the four. Fourth and three yeah. from the four. From the four. From the four. Yeah. Okay. I knew it was three. Um, and our go number was three. Uh, so you know, we've been in that situation before and uh, unfortunately we didn't make it. They stopped us. As it turns out, you, know, you call the analytics guys later on tonight, and they'll tell you, you know, you you didn't make it, but you had them inside the five yard line, which is a really tough place to operate as an offense. And we got a we got a pick, and maybe if we kick the field goal there and we kick off and they got the ball at the twenty five, or you know, we were, we weren't doing a great job of kicking off and getting them stopped. We had a couple times, but. You know, they return one out to the 35 and one out to the 40. You know, maybe maybe it's 17 and they go down and score to 17-7. As it turns out, we got the pick. We were able to score a touchdown, go up 21 to nothing. And uh, that, was a, that was certainly a big score in the game. My, my second question is, uh, they talked about limiting your running game. And of course, it was Bryson and, and, and Kanye and Noah Short having 50 yards too. They did anything but. Uh, talk about your running game and how you were able to 
do what you had to do, even though they were cheating on us. Greg Gasparato, their defensive coordinator, is a great football coach. And John Summall, their head coach, is a great football coach. Um, John being a, a, a longtime defensive coordinator, very well respected. And we knew that they would have their team prepared and ready. Um, and Greg comes out of the same school. Nate Woody worked with Nate, you know, alongside Nate, worked here with us, knows our team very well. Um, and, and so we knew they'd have a great plan, and, and, uh, and they got really good players. And, and just tonight, our guys just did a, a our guys just did a good job and, and, and knocked some holes open and made some seams for Kanye and, and for Bryson and the other guys. And, and, uh, and it was enough. So I, I'm, I'm really proud of the offense. I'm proud of our whole team, but the, but the offense, just talking about running the football, because it's hard to run the football against those guys. They're really good at stopping the run. And uh, to be able to do that tonight is you know, it's just gives us a tremendous sense of pride. Thank you, Coach. We'll go over here. Coach Bunchen, see, uh, congratulations on the win. Um, you know, you guys just beat a really, really good football team, 35 to 14. Um, and you, you've talked about it a little bit already. Would you say that's the most complete game the team's played to this point this year? I don't know. It was pretty. It was, it was pretty good. Pretty complete game. You know, what do you guys think? You think that was the most complete game you played? You guys were in there fighting and playing. So, and special teams came up with a big play. I didn't know until we were standing out there in the lobby. They said Granati's the one that, that yeah. <laughs> caused the fumble. How about that for a kicker? I mean, that's just that tells you about our team. That tells you about our team. Just that effort and that desperation to win. Um, so we play, we played some good football games this year. We played some some complete football games. That was. That was as good as we've played against a really good team. And uh, you know, save us for the right time, that's for sure. Uh, Bryson, the mob has been awesome all year, but tonight they just absolutely dominated a really good defensive front, as Coach Bunchell was just talking about. Talk a little bit about the game those guys played. And uh, I mean, a couple, couple of your touchdown runs, like we've seen previously this season, you didn't get touched when you were here across the goal line. Yeah, I think it was. I think it was their best game of the season. They played incredible. Um, they kind of they came into it with an attitude, you know, knowing, hearing all week that this defense that we're playing against, um, you know, would know our offense and they know how to play us. And those guys took that to heart and they played really well. That line of scrimmage was getting moved, you know, two to three yards, and then by the fourth quarter, four to five yards. Um, they they played awesome, just like they have all year. But they really stepped it up today. When they needed it. And my final question, it's about Kanye, but I know how unselfish you are, so I'm going to ask Bryson and Andy instead. Um, you know, Kanye was the second team all-conference running back. And there was a guy named Makai Hughes who was the first team all-conference running back. And uh, Kanye had 20 carries for 158 yards. Makai had 14 carries for 66 yards um, for both of you because you had something to do with stopping the two-lane running back. And you and the offense had something to do with Kanye getting all those yards. Is there any? I know you guys don't really focus on this stuff. I know your attitudes, and I know why you want to win. It's for all the right reasons. Any little added motivation around any of that? Um, you know, I don't. I didn't hear Kanye talk about it at all when the All Conference came out. You know, guys really weren't talking about it. But um, we're all competitors. Uh, we see things and we hear things. And um, Kanye's a competitor. You've seen it all year, um, and it showed today. And you know, I think I always say Connie's the best running back on the field when I'm playing with him. And he really showed it today. And, and he's a really, really good player. And he made a lot of good plays today when he needed it. And um, yeah, I always go back, go to bat for Kanye because he's he's awesome. So. And how about from a defensive perspective? Yeah, I mean, uh, just to add off that, I mean, credit to him. He's a great running back. Um, I think the D line really won us the game. Um, defensively, at least, they're handling their business up front. Um, we're able to just get him down. Stop it for sure. So. Go ahead.
Smith and then more on the defensive line, a little banged up, and some guys had a step up today, like Cody Wanaker had a step up. Can you talk about, like, specifically maybe their efforts and the way they helped the guys out and hold them with just 14 points? Yeah, they did great. Guys like Cody, Matt, Gemma, um, dudes that really haven't played much all season, but, you know, biggest game of the year, they stepped up when we really needed it. Um, just fitting the right gaps, it allowed us, me and Caleb, all the linebackers to do our thing. Um, so credit to them, they got great pass rush as well. Um, forced to keep bad throws, so credit to them. Kanye, what did that 72 yard run feel like for you and how much momentum do you think it gave your offense? Uh, it was huge, um, like earlier in the game, being able to break loose and uh, fit off the hole that the mile created for me and just have a big play. One more for Coach Munson real quick. Um, Coach, you said, um, during the award ceremony that the Downtown Athletic Club should extend an invitation to artists from, from New York. Um, same game, as same time as Army, around the same time as Army Navy. Can you guys get that done if they do extend the invitation out there? I don't have any idea, but <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know that there's anybody in the country that would balk at the idea of the starting quarterback of the Army Black Knights rushed for 100 yards in a game. How many in a row now? Ten. Ten. Ten games in a row? On an 11 and one team that just won the conference championship. Why doesn't that guy belong down there? There's a lot of great football players in the country, but there's not one that means more to his team than that guy sitting right down there. And so it's the MVP of college football. Who's most valuable to their team? I don't, I, I'd argue there's not a guy in America more about, more valuable to their team than Bryson Daly. So I think he should be down there. And I don't have a vote in it, and they're not going to listen to me. But you know, he belongs down there. And and I know that the college football world would be thrilled to see that. And how many times in history? How many times in history? Is there going to be an academy player that legitimately could go down there and everybody feels like that guy belongs? You know what? This is that time in history. That guy belongs down there. That's what I think. We'll go to Kevin to follow up. You know, Bryson, congratulations. Four touchdowns today and uh, 126 yards rushing. I thought one play that really stood out was in the third quarter, fourth and five. Uh, you got a completion. You found you did that play, that uh, little uh, sideline pass to Casey Reynolds. Uh, got you the first down, kept the drive moving. Uh, tell us about it. Yeah, fourth and five. Um, you know, just you know, shout out to Coach Boylan, Coach Munkin, just for trusting us as an offense to get that first down when we really needed it. Um, they trust us all year with that. And, you know, that play was drawn up for Casey. And, you know, he's a really good receiver. You trust your playmakers right there to make big plays. You know, they only threw the ball twice today, but we have so much trust in Casey and his ability to get open that um, you know, we were able to get him the get him the ball, and it was he was wide open because he ran such a good route. Um, so he, he's a really good receiver. You know, doesn't get utilized you know as much in this offense, but he, he's a really really good player, and we trust him. Uh, and then just to ask you about uh, your interception. It was fourteen to nothing. Uh, the 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 army the offense had just gotten stopped. And uh, so you got the ball back for your offense, uh, and then uh, they went back to work to make it 21 0. Tell us about that play. How, how did it feel? Uh, I mean, it's, it's surreal, you know, being able to make a play. I'm really blessed um, to be in the right place at the right time. But once again, credit to the D line. Um, they had a great rush, forced the quarterback to get the ball out of his hands, and I just happened to be in the right spot. So. Just to ask you, you know, again in the third quarter, uh, you get a stop on fourth and eight. Uh, you know, Tony took a penalty, but you were able to. Uh, Stop him on that fourth and eight, and uh, and then uh, the offense went went back to work to make it thirty-five to seven. Uh, yeah, I mean it's so great, you know, being able to get a stop and knowing the offense is going to do their thing, take you know half a quarter, a quarter off off the clock. Um, it's really comforting, so you know, it's really complimentary football. We do our thing. We know the offense is going to do their thing. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. Go back over here. Hey, Kanye. Um, so on the 72 yard run, just talk us through that play. What did you see uh, in terms of holes in the offensive line and uh, kind of just talk about the play for us. Uh, first off, I should have scored. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let the guy uh, get my ankle at the end there. But 
Uh, just hit it zone side. Um, just one on one with the corners, able to make him miss, like high step him, then just off to the races. Lost the race. Any other questions? <coughs> Go back to Ken. I was going to ask Coach Munkin, oh, this team's 11 and 1 conference title. Where did you see this team start to take off, start to gel, show it the potential that it, that it's, that it has? The first weekend in November last year, that's when it started. There's a determination in this team. We were two and six. A lot of people counted us out. Um, and this team just had a determination that we weren't done. We were gonna keep fighting. And, uh, and so, that team last year was well loaded. It's a good senior class, good captains, and I think this team willed themselves to a four game stretch at the end and the Commander Chiefs trophy and and it just was born from there. And this this senior class was determined that it wasn't gonna be six and six again. We were gonna find a way to scratch and claw and fight and and uh, and find a way to be a winner. So it, Coach Saturnio said maybe toward the end of the summer before preseason camp he said Coach I think this can be a special team and uh, it's just the attitude of our guys how they work um, their their professionalism their approach to everything that we were doing and, uh, and we had enough veteran guys that had played and Felt like, you know, felt like we had a chance to, to have a good a good team. There's three good players sitting up here with me right now. There's five offensive line, five offensive linemen down there in the locker room that have started every game, and it's the best offensive line that of any team I've ever been a part of collectively from one end to the other. There's been some really great players here, other places I've coached, but we never had five in a, in a group as good as this one. So, uh, and certainly for our offense, that's where it starts. We get, we get, I get Kanye to my right, Bryce down here to my left. Those are two really good football players. But if we didn't have an offensive line, they wouldn't be sitting up here right now. And uh, and so it starts there. And and I think that I've always thought that the offensive line kind of sets the tone for the entire team. If they're tough and they're rugged and they do their job and everybody else does it too. And I want the offensive line to play so well and to be so tough and be so admired that everybody on the team wishes they could play offensive line. And that's about what these guys are. They're, they're, they're like that. I think everybody wants to be that. They want to be that tough and they want to be that rugged and they want to be that efficient. And, uh, and that, I mean, we got a lot of guys on our team make, make the good plays. And it's not just them, but, uh, but I think it starts there. Thank you, Coach. We'll do one or two more. Uh, Josh, in the back. Bryson, this last game at Lancaster Stadium, before rushing the field, the closing ceremony for 50 seconds, just so took that all in tonight. Yeah, it was incredible. Um, you know, that was the whole message just last week uh, for our senior night. Uh, we didn't get to have the core uh, for our senior night, and um, the whole message was, hey, to win this game. Um, you know, last week to get to play again in front of the core. And it was incredible. I was so blessed to have that opportunity to play in front of them again, uh, play in front of all our fans uh, that came out in the area. They came out in the cold and they supported, and uh, it was awesome. We're, we're very blessed to have the core and just our fan base in general. Maybe the last one right here in the front. Coach, um, i got to ask a question. Do you have any <coughs> message for the college football committee, the playoff committee? Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go back to my comment about Bryson Daly. At this moment, I think there's eight teams in the country that have won 11 games at this moment, eight. All of the others have played 12 regular season games. And one of them tonight played a conference championship as well team played 11 regular season games. Um, they've beaten everybody they put in front of us except for the number four team in the country. 
and they beat the pants off us. I get it. They beat the pants off us. But we beat everybody else. We just beat another bowl team tonight. And who in college football, who around America, wouldn't be excited to see the Army Black Knights in the playoffs? I think everybody would. It's a unique, different brand of football. And everybody in America can cheer for their home state team and their, their alma mater and still cheer for Army. And, and I think there would be a lot of excitement to have this team in the playoff. Now, again, I don't make that decision. And there's a committee that's, that's charged with, with doing that. I think this team could compete as well as any group of five team in the country in the playoffs. And I don't know. I, I don't know what would happen when we get in there. We'd only be able to find out if we win. But uh, to to have a team like this that's that's won as many games as we have, performing like we like we have, uh, I, I would love for the college playoff committee to. Uh, College Football Playoff Committee to, to give us some consideration. Certainly Boise State's got a great team. And uh, you know, they, they, they've kind of they've kind of been up there in the ranks and, and all that. So I get it. But I, I'd love to see this team get a crack at it. And uh, the way they're playing and the, determin the determination that they play with, the confidence they play with, we give somebody some hell. I know that. Thank you. One quick one. Oh yes. <laughs> who are you going to ask the question to? That's the, that's the key. Which who, who you want to ask? Coach Munkin. That's you yeah. You, you go you go with the easy guy, don't you? <laughs> what do you think your team could have improved heading into the Navy game? What do we need to improve on? Well, I have to look at some film tonight, but uh, we had a couple of times uh, in the open field where we had got the ball on a perimeter. And we're supposed to block guys out there on the perimeter. And we didn't do a great job all the time of, of sustaining those blocks. We probably left some yards out there uh, with those blocks. And then defensively, we had a chance to make some plays in the open field uh, with some tackles. The first touchdown of the game in the, at the end of the second quarter was one where we, we had a big missed tackle. Uh, and that certainly got to improve. We got to make those plays on the perimeter. Sure. So that, that's at least one area that we can improve on. I'm, I'm sure when I look at the film here in about 30 minutes, I'll find 115 other things. Good question. Thank you, John. Congratulations. Congratulations.